So an allocation is something that the first affirmative speaker and first negative speaker have to do and it's their job to do that before they start presenting their case to signal to the other team and to the adjudicator and the audience what they're going to be speaking about in the debate and what their team's arguments are going to be. So the allocation is really important, especially for the adjudicator, because as an adjudicator, what we actually do is write down what your first speaker's arguments are going to be and what your second speaker's arguments are going to be so that we can track these throughout the debate. When it comes to allocation and figuring out which speakers are going to present which arguments, once you finish with the brainstorm in the prep room, hopefully you've got between four to six arguments within your team. And the best thing to do is to rank those arguments from most important to least important and it should be your first speaker who presents all of your most important arguments and your second speaker that presents the least important arguments. The reason why your first speaker should present your most important arguments is that so that there's enough time within the debate for these really important arguments to be discussed and the second speaker still does have a really important role because in rebuttal they're going to be coming back and defending those arguments as well as within their speech spending more time rebutting the other team's case to try and tear that down. One thing as an adjudicator that we often see is teams feeling like they need to allocate to a third speaker, but this definitely isn't necessary because we know that your third speaker is going to be rebutting and summing up your case, so you can definitely save time by not adding this in.